When we talk about your claim with you, we'll ask you if there's anyone else involved. They're known as third parties. This could be another driver, passenger, pedestrian or cyclist. It might even be the owner of a wall that you bumped into or a lamppost owned by the highways agency. The third party side of a claim can take a while because there's a lot to be agreed between insurers when other people's property is damaged or in the small number of cases when someone is hurt. So claims like this can take months or sometimes longer to settle. But don't worry, your own repairs or valuation will be much quicker to sort out. If someone else was involved in the accident, we need to work out who's responsible and who pays for what. How this is sorted out will determine whether it's a fault or a non-fault claim. You might think that fault means we think you're responsible for what's happened, but that's not always the case. A better way of thinking about it is that a fault claim is one where we can't recover all of the costs. For example, if your car's hit while it's parked somewhere and you're not able to get details of the other driver, you wouldn't be responsible for what happened. But we'd still have to class this as a fault claim because we had to pay for your repairs and weren't able to claim those costs back from anyone. If you have caused the accident, try not to worry. We'll speak to the third party's insurer and settle any reasonable costs in the best way we can. If someone else caused the accident, then we'll contact their insurer to reclaim the cost of the repairs to your car. If the full cost of your claim can be recovered, the good news is that the claim will be classed as non-fault and your no claims discount won't be affected. Sometimes you might not think you're to blame for an accident and the other person involved feels exactly the same. When it can't be proved one person is fully responsible, we speak with the other insurer and try to get you the best possible outcome, which may mean splitting the costs. If we have to settle a claim like this, it will be recorded as a fault claim on your policy because we've still had to pay for some of it. In a small number of cases, we may decide to go to court to defend your claim. This is a last resort, and if we have to do this, we'll talk to you about it first. For all third-party claims, it's really handy to get as much evidence together as you can. So any photos, video footage or witness statements you can provide will help us to settle things more quickly and in the best way we can. If you have any information that can help us, please tell your claims handler about it.